I'm Chip McDougall and this week I'm going to show you how to make something epic for winter. This is a skateboard, a DIY snow skate that costs you next to nothing to make. Check it out. As you may have realised by now, taking off the tracks of a normal skateboard and just riding that in the snow does not work. Now I'm going to show you how to modify it to make it fly down snow. Start by drawing a line here, then measuring out two inches from where your track holes are and draw a dot. After you've done that, mark the other three sides and then drill them with pilot holes. Now it's time for the runners. We've decided to use 16mm by 16mm by 1mm box section. We find that this works the best for our skank boards. And uh, what we're going to do now is mark it and bend it. Uh, we bend this by first laying it on our skateboard in our rough points and working out where the board actually has to be bent. We now check out where the board starts to bend and then we make the bar fall it. So what we do is mark a line here. And there's only one way to bend a bar like that. And that's with a hammer. When the bar is bent on both sides, it should fit nice and snugly to the skateboard just like that. This is how a skateboard works. Once you've done one, it's time to do the other side. It's important about getting the back edge of the bar as smooth as possible, the bit you ride on, because this bit you don't have to worry about. After bending both the bars, you stick them to your skateboard. It's now time to clamp them and drill them in. Yeah, cut some of those mason pebbles out. Mason. Yeah, so go to start skating. We now drill in to mark a hole in the metal bar. It's important to remember that the big hole is at the bottom of the runner and the small hole is at the top. One lets the head of the screw come through and the other doesn't. This is what keeps it to your skank board. It's very important when screwing your skank runners together, they're both in line with each other. This is a word called parallel. If these are not parallel together and one tapers off the wrong way, you find yourself not going straight. And we had problems with this last year. So now we ensure that every time we measure, we measure twice, three times, four times, just to make sure it's all together, solid, so you guys know you're going to go on a straight line. As you can see, we've now put both runners on here. And we've got a couple of screws to cut and we've got to trim the edge. We've, uh, it's now time to cut off the excess. As you can see, this is excess. We're going to mark to that line and we're going to chop it off. There you have a semi-finished skateboard. What we're going to do now is put the straps on it. You can use literally anything for straps. We recommend bag straps or an old belt. I'm going to start by folding your strap. And off your strap as close as you can to the edge of your skateboard. Remember our straps are going at that angle. Once it's screwed on tight, then it's time to do the other one. You want to do this on both sides for both feet. Skateboard. We've now finished the skateboard top and bottom. We're going to now fill in these holes with some wax. Start by cutting the strip out of the sand like that. Roll it nice and tight. Push it inside the hole and let it unravel. A little bit of skate wax or an old candle. You want to put a rough layer on top. This stops most of the liquid wax from leaking too much into the skateboard. Make sure you push it in nice and tight. Once the hard layer is in, we're going to melt some more wax and drip it on top. This will melt everything and join it all together just like that. Once you've left that dry and it's gone quite hard, it's time to take off the surface. What I'm going to do, you can use a knife, you can use anything. And all you're going to do is take the top off, just like that. Leaving a nice, smooth hole has been filled. And that's it. That's how to make a skank board. I made mine three years ago and it's still holding up now. Don't forget to send me your pictures and videos of you skankboarding. I've been Chip McDougall and I support skankboarding.